this video, I'm gonna share with you guys the two main types of microfiber towels that I use in the professional auto detailing world. Now, let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So microfiber towels. I've already done a video on explaining kind of how I maintain microfiber towels. So if you haven't seen how to like wash, dry, and maintain the microfiber towels, definitely look at the video that I'm hooking up in the YouTube card right now. That video is very helpful. but what specific types of microfiber towels do I use in the auto detailing world? That's the big question because a lot of times I've found, especially new guys, really overcomplicate this area and I really get like a lot of emails about what kind specifically to use and people are constantly overanalyzing it. So I want to show you guys really how simple this subject is. First, I want to show you guys my most like kind of multi-purposed microfiber towels that I use. They look like this this and they come in a package like this and so if any of you guys recognize this this is literally the um, Sam's brand so I get these microfiber towels in bulk from Sam's Club so there's nothing super special about them there's nothing incredibly like expensive or like high-end or high-tech about them they're just very very normal microfiber towels but they're right in the GSM that I want which uh, is about 300 to 350 and they grab really, really well. And the more you've detailed cars, the more you begin to appreciate uh, microfiber towels that grab really well because you're cleaning such incredibly horrible things. So these specific microfiber towels are 80% polyester and 20% polyamide. So once again, it's that 80-20 blend that I talk about in my other video that I really prefer. And that's kind of exactly where I personally like my microfiber towels to be. A lot of detailers have different opinions on that, but that's just where I stand. So so once again, these are very inexpensive. You get 36 towels in total, and these are the main ones that I use. So I'm gonna use these for interior surfaces, plastics, carpets, leathers, things like that. I'm even going to use these for certain exterior surfaces. So there are times when I will uh, use these for the paint, but once again, all mine are color-coded, so I buy the green ones to symbol what I'm gonna use for the inside plastics and inside leathers. Then, on the other hand, and I use blues for what I use on interior carpets. And once again, these are actually the same exact towels as I get at Sam's, just a different color for different uses. Now, Though I use the Sam's brand for the interior and basically my kind of most multi-purposed, multi-faceted um, jobs and interior surfaces, the big question is what do I use on the exterior surfaces because once again in the detailing world we know that exterior surfaces are very fragile. You want to avoid scratching at, at all costs um, at all, if it's at all possible. And so what kind of towels do I use for the exterior? For the exterior use or for paint purposes, I use the Kirkland brand of microfiber towels. So if you look closely, you can see I get these from Costco. I get 36 in a pack. And these specifically are um, kind of designed for automotive use. So once again, this is gonna be an area where detailers are gonna disagree or have different opinions. But these microfiber towels are extremely, extremely soft. And I'm pretty sure it says, yeah, right here it says, old ultra plush microfiber towels. So I use these microfiber towels for painted surfaces. Now, I keep a bag like this with me at all times because in a lot of cases, I like to use a completely new microfiber towel. So for example, on black cars, on dark blue, dark reds, and even just on higher end vehicles like Lamborghinis or Rolls Royces, or even just nicer BMWs or nicer Mercedes, I like to use um, completely new or virgin microfiber towels, never touched microfiber towels because once again, they're undefiled, they're not, they don't have any minerals or any dirt in them, they have never been washed, so they're not gonna leave any scratching whatsoever. It's like a guarantee for me. And because these are so economical and so ergonomically friendly and they work so well on the paint, and I go through so many microfiber towels, these do the job perfectly. So once again, this is an area where detailers just overcomplicate and overthink, and they're like, ah, oh, you're a hack, or you don't know what you're talking about because you use these microfiber towels.
towels. And it's like, well, if you want to spend like thousands of dollars on high-end microfiber towels, then be my guest. But if I can buy these bulk microfiber towels from from Costco or from Sam's and they get the job done and they do it just as well, then I'm definitely going to do that. So coming from someone who has bought, you know, your waffle weave microfiber towels and your ultra, ultra plush drying microfiber towels and just been through the ringer with all of it, yes, do I use some other microfiber towels that aren't these like ultra plush ones or waffle weave? I definitely do. But for the most part, this Costco brand and then my Sam's brand is going to be my go-to because these are like old faithful and they're gonna get the job done just fine. Now these Kirkland brand are also 80% polyester, 20% polyamide, so they fall right into that area that I like. They're about 300 to 350 GSM, so once again, right in that area that I like. And I'm gonna read you guys the instructions on the back to where it tells you kind of what the specific uses of this towel is. So it says right here, it's a thicker weave that provides a higher absorbency. It's excellent for using, uh, for trapping dust and polishing to a high gloss shine. Ideal for most applications, use it to dry, polish, or dust. Simply dampen the towel for those tough cleanup jobs. And then it's great for everything from detailing and washing automobiles or boats to gently cleaning TVs and computer screens. So once again, I buy these in bulk and though they come in bulk, I would call the Costco brand and specifically this ultra plush microfiber towel that's um, almost like automotive specific from Costco, a little bit higher quality when it comes to polishing, waxing, um, dusting, and kind of taking care of painted surfaces than the Sam's Club towel. Once again, these are more my interior use and these are more my exterior use. And so though they both could be used and kind of interchanged and used interchangeably, I do reserve the Costco for the outside and the Sam's for the inside. And if you guys actually actually go buy these, you will see what I'm talking about just from a tactile level. They are, they do feel differently. This is not going to grip as much as the Sam's is, but this is going to polish and shine more than the Sam's Club microfiber towels will. Now I want to show you guys something because once again I'm not crazy even though I buy my microfiber towels in bulk and I buy them from Costco and Sam's. I know some of you detailers out there are thinking, this guy's crazy, why wouldn't he buy nicer microfiber towels? Like. You need the nice top of the line stuff. Well, here is a microfiber towel that is a specific drying microfiber towel. So it's specifically used for after you wash a car, you're gonna dry with this. It's supposed to be ultra plush. Well, I've used this microfiber towel maybe four to six or seven times, okay? And you can begin to see that, and it might be difficult to pick up in the camera, but the fibers, the microfibers, okay? They begin to clump together. Okay, so if you compare the Costco brand with this brand, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but these fibers are much more individualized. They clump together, where this new Costco microfiber towel, the microfibers are very um, uh, spread out almost, and it's much less, uh, it's, it's much more difficult to separate the fibers visually here than it is here. And my point is that, even when you get the drying specific microfiber towel or the waxing specific, the, the thing, the microfibers are always going to react the same. Once they go through the washer and go through the dryer, they begin to degrade just like it's happening right here. And so I would rather be able to just go through very quickly the microfiber towels and not be over emotionally attached to one because I paid $20 for it and just buy them in bulk. And when this starts to degrade just like this has after four or five times through the wash or six or seven times through the wash, I can just toss it out, throw it away and grab a a new one and at the end of the day I cannot tell any difference in seven years of detailing I cannot tell any any bit of difference between this microfiber towel and this microfiber towel at least in the drying process and so really my only point with all of this is that once again it's just another area of detailing that people get way over analytical about and they overthink and they think themselves into an oblivion or they just waste money on a bunch of stuff that they really could save so much money on so I'm gonna do my best to hook up Amazon links 
in the description box below for some towels that I use and specifically the uh, Costco brand and the Sam's brand. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I will do my best. I will also hook up some other towels that I use like waffle weave and um, huck towels for drying and for windows and things like that that I didn't necessarily get to in this video, but I will make another video about. So check out the description box and the Amazon links down there to see more information on other towels that I use as well. And of course, if you buy any towels or buy anything off Amazon using my links, it does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can continue to give out awesome content just like this. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below because I always read those. And I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. Thank you guys so much for being so involved here on the Wilson Auto Detailing channel. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video.